Welcome to the Gateway's iLearning System. This online learning system houses self-paced training and development courses that help meet licensing needs, accelerate Illinois standards, Gateway's and CDA credential requirements, and training requirements for child care providers participating in the Child Care Assistance Program. Before enrolling in courses through the iLearning System, it is a good idea to review what your training needs are. There are a number of hardware and software requirements that can help your online learning experience go smoothly. For a full description of all the recommendations, please visit the technical assistance page. The most important thing to remember is you will need a fast, reliable internet connection and up-to-date internet browser. We recommend Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. We encourage you to ensure that your computer has all the current updates. The first step to taking online learning through the Gateways iLearning system is to log in. This requires a Gateways to Opportunity Registry online username and password. To request a Gateways Registry online user account, please visit registry.ilgateways.com. Requests for usernames and passwords may take up to one full business day to process. Once you have logged into the Gateways iLearning system, you can enroll in and complete courses. The navigation menu is one way to move through the site quickly and easily. It is on every page and is generally located on the right side of the screen. On the home page, it is located below the colorful blocks. You can click the small arrow button to dock or position the menu as a tab on the left side of the screen. The easiest way to locate courses is to use the colored category blocks. All the courses in the iLearning system are sorted into categories. If you are a child care provider who needs to complete the required trainings for DCFS licensing, you can click the dark blue box on the Click Here link to see the complete list of those trainings. Courses may meet the needs or descriptions of several categories. For instance, the Spanish version of the Sudden Infant Death Syndrome training appears in this category, but it will also appear in the list of Spanish language courses and in the list of Gateways to Opportunity Registry approved trainings. All of the ECE Credential Level 1 modules will appear in the CAP Provider Required Trainings, as well as the Gateways to Opportunity Trainings list and their own section called ECE Credential Level 1. In addition to using the colorful boxes to help choose your course, you can use the course category links below. The category links and the boxes are not all the same, so if you cannot find what you are looking for in one of them, check the other. If you are looking for the ECE Credential Level 1 Module 2C training, you would click on the light blue ECE Credential Level 1 box to view all the modules in that category. After clicking the ECE Credential Level 1 category, you reach this screen. If you would like to see more information about an individual course in this category, you can click the small I button on the right to view a summary and description of the course. You can also search for a course using keywords. For example, if you want to find courses on safety, you type safety into the search box and click the go button. All the courses in this category with safety in the title or description would be listed. If you want to take Module 2C, you click the blue link to open that module. If you have not taken the chosen module yet, you will need to enroll in the course by clicking the blue button that says Enroll Me. After enrolling, you will be taken to the main course page for that course. As you can see, our navigation menu is available on the right, and we also can navigate through the system using this series of links at the top of the page. To complete the course, we are going to complete a series of activities such as reading, watching video clips, interactive presentations, review quizzes, and more. The required activities have a checkbox to the right. When the activity has been completed, the box has a check mark. If it has not been completed, it is empty. The required activities must be completed in order. As you can see, the important notice activity has been completed in this course. The important notice explains how long you have to complete the course. Be sure to read and take note of this information in every course you complete. If you begin a course, you must complete it within the enrollment period you began. For instance, if you start on January 5th, you have until March 30th to complete the course. If you do not complete the course by the end of the enrollment period, your progress in that course will be lost and you will have to start over when the new enrollment period begins. When one activity is complete, the next activity will be made available. Activities in blue are ones that can be clicked and completed. Activities in gray are closed until the previous ones are done. In this case, we need to complete the Reading Material Introduction activity to continue on in the course. When you click the Reading Material Introduction link, it takes you to the page you need to review. Activities such as these could contain video clips, reading material, pictures, and more. Please review them carefully. When you have completed the activity, you can return to the main course page using the navigation menu or the links at the top of the page. Completed activities are still available and you can return to them if needed. The review challenges and other interactive presentations on the iLearning system are a different type of activity than the reading material. When you click a link for an interactive activity such as these, you are taken to this screen. You must click the Enter button to begin the presentation. 
When you begin a review challenge or presentation, you will see a screen like this. At any time, you can return to the main course page using the navigation menu, the links at the top, or the exit activity button. If you have completed part of the presentation, your progress will be saved, and the next time you enter this activity, you will be given the option to resume where you left off. You can choose to resume at the last viewed slide by clicking on Yes, or start over by clicking No. Each slide may contain a variety of material on it, and some of the slides will be interactive. On these slides, you will need to make choices or click on activities to advance through the presentation. For example, on this slide you are asked to choose the best answer to the question. If you select the correct answer, your score is updated and you are given a message to click here to continue. In this example, you would answer six questions and see the results of your review before completing the interactive presentation. Once you have completed the presentation, you can return to the main course page using the Exit Activity button and continue on in the course. Because these are computer-based online trainings, some computer and internet experience is needed to complete the courses. If you do encounter issues while taking Gateway's iLearning courses, the Technical Assistance page provides tools, resources, and information to help resolve most problems. This page should be your first stop when searching for solutions. While we do our best to address errors and problems within the Gateway's iLearning system, there are many issues that online learners can encounter. We cannot help with all of them. We cannot explain basic computer skills such as saving documents, uploading documents, dragging and dropping files, etc. If you do not have basic computer skills, we encourage you to find someone who, to assist you, search out online tutorials, or pursue face-to-face -face training. We cannot fix problems with local network connections or slow and unreliable internet providers. We do not provide support for online learning through mobile devices such as tablets and smartphones. There are too many different brands of devices, operating systems, and far too many ways things could go wrong for us to reliably diagnose mobile learning problems. We cannot fix software compatibility issues. Information about needed software is available on the technical assistance page. Upgrading to that software is the responsibility of each individual. If you are encountering difficulties that cannot be resolved with the information on the technical assistance page, you can contact the Gateways iLearning System support staff by emailing ilearning at incra.org. Please include the following information in your email. Your full name, your username, your Gateways registry membership ID number, your contact information such as email and phone number, a description of the problem and any error message you are getting, what course and course activity you were working on when the error occurred, the date and time you received the error, and your computer operating system and internet browser. With that information, we will diagnose the problem as quickly as possible and respond with recommended solutions. Online learning is a wonderful convenience and a powerful tool. We hope you enjoy your experience and we wish you the best in your ongoing professional development.